What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back with another video. Now, you guys, my last video, I was really talking about the eclipse, right? Now, y'all, this eclipse has been working its work. If you guys haven't been feeling so tired lately, I've been feeling like exhausted from the new moon. I mean, my energy is great, but I have emotions coming up. I have things purging. And then we have retrograde ready to hit on April Fool's. Like, you couldn't have fooled me enough, okay? You couldn't, you, you didn't even have to play like that. How are you gonna try? How are you gonna start retrograde on April Fool's Day? Isn't it supposed to be a joke? But no, they're not playing. We got retrograde coming in in Mercury. Why? Well, why? Why? We need a break, don't you think? Anyways, you guys, I just wanted to talk to you guys about finding yourself and self discovery and how crucial that is in this self evolving and spiritual being you are because we are in a body but we are not a body we are of this body but we are not part we are not this body you get what i'm saying we are a soul we are a soul being we're soul essence we are energy we are frequency and i really want to dive into that part of your that part of life right now and how self-discovery makes you discover your soul self you know from the moment we start crawling and walking and all that we're designed to avoid ourselves but they hit me that's fine but we cannot heal this and we got to do this and we got to do that and we got to do this we're so surrounded by all types of stressful situations and and, and and situations and people that we're so programmed to to think outside to think outside of ourselves to follow something else that's not within us and i'm not going to touch base on religion um i try to steer away from that because i'm not religious but um i have my uh beliefs and not beliefs you know like i have my mixture of both i'm in the middle where i'm not against it but i'm not for it at the same time only because I feel like we are spiritual beings. Um, within everything, there is truth. If you know what omniism is, um, I believe that there is truth within everything. There is a lesson to be learned in everything that religion has to teach you. Um, and I truly believe that religion is supposed to be like, like a teacher, not something that you're supposed to praise, but something that you're supposed to learn from. You are a spiritual being we are our own gods and goddesses and for you to be that exterior from yourself is only away from your god essence we are godlike energy you don't have to believe with you don't have to believe me you do not have to fo you don't have to follow me you do not have to be um to agree with me we can agree to disagree i'm okay with people disagreeing disagreeing with me but i truly believe that we are all god frequency and the God is within us and we are energy source and we achieve this God-like being when we get to a point of love, that 5D frequency of unconditional love for everything and everyone. And we are no separate from anyone. We are all one. We are all one with everything, the universe, the earth, planet, people. We are connected, we're telepathic beings. Hence, sometimes when you hang around with someone for too long, you tend to say things before they say them. Or you tend to read their mind without even really trying. We are meant to be telepathic, but we are separated from that telepathic mindset. Um, stripping away from our spirit from the beginning. But we are evolving. We are coming into this new reality, new frequency, new quantum physics. We are reprogramming what used to be and not what is and i am so excited how much and it all took a turn when at the beginning of the year we had pluto pluto change into what y'all capricorn has been leading and now is an aquarius we we are we are changing right now we are going through a transformation from how Things have been ran so masculine. We are now coming into the feminine 
energy and listen energy energy is not based on physical appearance not based on gender energy we all hold masculine and feminine energy we are a balance of both dualities you get what i'm saying but things have been so hyper masculine we have been stripped away from our natural nurture energy we are coming into the feminine energy and for all my divine feminines you know this is where we we ascend to this is where it's our time to be at the top this is our time to shine our time to be those divine feminine beings because the world needs us right now it is our time to shine our light because the world needs our light currently we are in the transformation of divine feminine energy and that is what's going to be the reason why the world comes back together because the only way to make the world work is with divine feminine energy and then have a balance because duality as above so below so below so as above is a real thing time to balance that feminine energy and masculine energy if you are hyper masculine maybe you need to do some inner work on your feminine it is it is crucial some women are hyper masculine and don't have enough feminine energy some men are hyper masculine and don't have their feminine energy in tune you need to be in tune with your nurturing self it is good to have a balance of both when when you have an imbalance that's when you cannot control yourself but when you have a balance of both you have control of both energies you have achieved godlike energy once you have hit in that peak of control and balance and duality you are unstoppable babes you are unstoppable that's my video for today i hope you guys have a beautiful day and i'll see you sunday peace Thank you.